now know who will be running to be representative for Oregon's 5th Congressional District. Today, the Associated Press called the race for Jamie McLeod Skinner for the Democratic nomination. She beat Representative Kurt Schrader, who has served seven terms in that seat. Fox 12's Audrey Wheel joins us now live with a closer look at what this means as far as an historic upset is concerned. Pete, this is the first time in more than 40 years that a sitting member of Congress has been voted out in the Oregon primary. So we asked our Fox 12 political analyst how this happened and what it means going into the general election. In an upset victory, Jamie McLeod Skinner is now the Democratic nominee for Oregon's 5th Congressional District. I think it sets, sets the tone for and sets the pace for elections, hopefully across our country, that it's, it's got to be about connecting with voters, respecting voters, talking about the issues. When we're at our best, we focus not on the buzzwords, not on the politics, but on the challenges that we're facing and how we work together to overcome those challenges. It was a close race against seven-term incumbent Representative Kurt Schrader that took more than a week to call because of delays counting votes in Clackamas County. What does this primary victory for McLeod Skinner say about what voters want right now, what Democratic voters want right now in their candidate? They become progressive. Uh, much more so than the district has been in the past, particularly on issues that uh, got Kurt Schrader uh, into trouble around prescription medication, I, th I think is really the big one. Democratic voters are much more open to things like Medicare for all, uh, negotiation for, for prescription drugs for, in, in Medicare. McLeod Skinner will be up against Republican nominee Lori chavez Reamer in the general election. We want a vibrant economy. We want a safe place to raise our families. We want to make sure that the kids can go to school in a safe environment and learn what we expect them to learn. The 5th District was recently redrawn, now spanning southeast and into more central parts of the state. 2022 could really be an inflection point for Oregon, and this district is part of that story. Each of these two candidates is from a different part of that district. It's a close district with registration. It's probably a favorable environment for Republicans. But we have two candidates who aren't no, well known to the voters and um, it will provide provide a sharp contrast uh, for them going forward. Needless to say, this will likely be a tight race come fall. We have not heard from Representative Schrader at all since the AP called this race. We reached out to his press people today and have not heard back. We will let you know as soon as he does make a public statement on this. Reporting live from the Mobile Newsroom, Audrey Wheel, Fox 12 Oregon.